Week 1 of the Madden Ultimate League started with a bang, and Problem wasted no time in asserting his dominance with the ground game in his opening week matchup against Dubby. Problem opted into running the Green Bay Packers offensive playbook, where he primarily worked out of the single back wing, single back deuce close, and single back ace slot formations. In doing so, he averaged a healthy 9.5 yards per carry, while his most called play, the single back wing HB stretch, netted him an average gain of 15.9 yards. Let's take a look back at why it was so effective. Right out the gate, Problem looks to establish the run game out of the single back wing formation. This formation primarily threatens either a stretch to the strong side or a dive up the middle. And in this case, the strong side stretch looks enticing. Dubby chooses a 3-4 odd defensive front, but the issue he runs into is that he's attempting to stop an unbalanced formation with a symmetrical defensive front. At the snap of the ball, you are going to see a double team on the strong side defensive end, Shannon Sharp kicks out the outside linebacker, Bo Jackson moves out to block the cornerback, while Paul Kraus crashes back inside to block the strong safety, allowing for a wide open lane for Leonard Fournette. This defensive front from Dubby was doomed from the start, but two key factors contributed to the long gain. The first being that Dubby called cover for Mike, which despite the better run support from the safety positions, this leads to the right of screen middle linebacker blitzing at the snap of the ball. This put him in a situation where he effectively ran himself out of the play as Problem's offensive line created leverage for the outside stretch. The other being Dubby's user defender. Notice at the snap of the ball how Dubby accidentally inputs a hit stick command as he was trying to get into better position pre-snap, causing his defender to completely whiff and slowing his momentum moving towards the side of the run. This would ultimately result in a nice gain of 28 yards for Problem. Later on, as Problem was gashing Dubby's cover 4 mic for 20 yards per play, Dubby opted to switch to a cover 2 sync look better known for containing outside runs. Problem motions in the outside receiver to get him in better position to pick up a block and quickly identifies the change of defense at the snap of the ball. This time, instead of opting to stretch the sideline, he identifies the outside cornerback crashing down due to his flat zone duties in the run game and immediately cuts the run vertically up the field. This is where the pre-snap motion becomes important. Because of the inward movement of the outside receiver at the snap, he runs a straight shot across the formation and engages with Dubby's user defender who he was bringing across from the weak side of the formation to help with run support. This leaves Dubby's strong safety as the only unblocked defender, but because Dubby switched his coverage to cover 2 sink, the safety's first responsibility is to sink back to defend the deep right half of the field. Backpedaling at the snap of the ball, Dubby's safety is nearly 20 yards downfield before he changes course and comes up for run support. By the time he makes contact, Fournette is already 8 yards downfield with a full head of steam and ends up falling forward for a nice gain of 11. One play later, in what would prove to be the game ceiling play, Problem lines up in the single back deuce close formation. Threatening a halfback wham, Dubby must respect the possibility of an interior run. In his efforts to clog the middle, he inverts his coverage on the left side of the field out of his cover 2 sync defense in order to allow himself to bring his free safety up into the box for additional run support. However, in doing so, he does not replace the vacant flat zone that was left behind by the cornerback dropping deep. Problem rolls left at the snap while Dubby is forced to user the corner route due to not having a sideline defender in the area in which he finds himself in a true lose-lose scenario. Problem reads the user and takes advantage and scrambles for an easy 6-yard gain and puts the game away for good. For more professional Madden analysis, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you would like an in-depth look at what makes this offensive scheme so successful, check out Lights Out's full breakdown over at maddendaily.com in which I will be featured as well. As always, thank you so much for watching guys, and until next time, 
take it easy.